and welcome. And so in front of me, I have three spreadsheet applications. The top one up here is Google Spreadsheets. Uh, the middle one is LibreOffice, and the bottom is GCalc. So there's three different spreadsheet applications. But the reason I'm doing this video is because yesterday, and I've had this conversation with this person more than once, um, something I was trying to explain with them. So let me just say I type in a URL in here, so filmsbychris.com. And you can see it turns it into a clickable link. So when I hover over this or click on it, it brings up a link that I can click to open up that website. If I wanted to edit it, I just click inside this box and now I can edit it. And that was confusing the person that I was talking with um, greatly that when they click on this, they're like, why does this keep popping up? And I explained to them that this is the link you click and this is the text you edit it. And, and I could tell they still didn't get it in the end. They said, so it's pointless that there's two of them, it's just a repeat. And I'm like, no, one is the text you edit, it's the text in the cell, and the other one is a link, link you click. Um, and we kind of just ended the conversation, but I could tell that they still didn't quite get it. Um, and it bothers me, because it's pretty straightforward. And, and it's like, here is a URL. If I want to edit this, how do I edit this? Again, I, let's say I want to make this this. See, I just click inside that or double click inside that cell to start editing it. And if I want to go to it, I click on that. Pretty straightforward. But it got me thinking, how do other applications handle this? Because uh, I know the person that I was talking with uses Excel a lot. Uh, and I don't have Excel. I don't know how Excel works with this. Um, for, to me, it was very straightforward. Again, when I click on this, you can tell that the hand changes, the cursor changes to a little hand. It even gives you a little icon here showing you that this is a link bringing you somewhere. It's got an arrow going somewhere. Can be, can't be any more straightforward, but I'm like, I wonder how Excel does it because you have to be able to click in this cell if you want to edit it, but you also want to have a clickable link. So I came to other applications. Let me just type in filmsbychris.com here. And you can see this made this a clickable link. But uh, if I want to edit this, I can click inside this box and do it. So how do I make it so that I can click on that link? Well, it is clickable. When I hover over it, you can see it pops up a little tooltip box. And it says, Control click to follow hyperlink. So I just hold down Control and click. Oops, move my mouse. Control and click. And it opens up the link again. I can Control and click. And it opens up the link again. So I can close those. And then if I want to edit it, I just click inside the box here. And I edit it. And then I can, again, Control. Whoops. Control click right there to open up the new link. So that's a different option. It does give me a little pop-up box to click, but it gives me a pop-up box telling me what to do. So again, it's a different option. Now down here we have GCalc. Let me go ahead and in here, HTTP filmsbychris.com. GCalc does it in a way that I can't stand. <laughs> um, you can say it's a matter of opinion, but See, I typed it in, it made it a clickable URL, but when I click on the cell, it opens up the URL. Again, I just click on the cell and it opens up the URL. So how do I edit the text in there? Well, I can double click it, but it still opens up the URL, which is annoying. Every time I want to edit that cell, it's going to open up my web browser and I have my window split. If I didn't, it would bring my web browser up in front of the spreadsheet I'm working in, which would be super annoying if you ask me. And the only way I found that I can edit the text in this cell without clicking on the URL is clicking on another cell that doesn't have a URL, use my arrow keys to move to that cell, and then click on this box up here to edit it. Otherwise, again, if I try to edit this, it's going to open up that URL because there's no way to click on this without opening up that URL. I even tried control clicking to see if it was like the reverse of LibreOffice, but it's not. If anyone knows of another way to edit a cell that has a URL in it without opening the URL, uh, please comment and uh, leave a comment below. But, uh, but yeah, so we have three different ways of handling that situation. One, I don't like it all too, um, that are both okay. You know, I don't have a problem with either of these. One, it's either giving me a little um, pop-up box that I can click on, or the other one's just giving me a message telling me to pro control and click, which I'm fine with. Um, but part of my point was just to bring up how something so simple can be done multiple ways. And also, again, the person I was talking with uses spreadsheets all the time, but they use Excel. And to me, I don't use spreadsheets very often. So when I go in, it's very clear to me how things work. Like, I don't know how to do advanced things in the spreadsheet, um, and but just 
basic spreadsheet, be able to fill stuff into cells and resize cells and maybe do some basic math is pretty simple and straightforward. And as far as I can tell, it is very similar to all these programs. But I think because I don't use any one very often, it seems like they're all the same to me. I just, I look at this again, when I click on this, it, it's very clear to me that this is a link. It pops up when I hover over it, the mouse cursor changes to a, to a little hand, which is usually what it does for links. And again, it gives me the little icon there saying that this is a link. But I guess if you use one program all the time, like, like this gentleman uses Excel, you're so used to how that works that anything outside of that just blows your mind, I guess, is the only thing I can come up with. Uh, so part of my, my message in this video is don't use any one program. If you like LibreOffice, use LibreOffice as your go-to, but occasionally use GCalc or some other program um, just so you don't become so uh, tunnel visioned on, on how an application works that you don't know what to do after that. Anyway, I just found this interesting and I hope you did too. Thanks for watching. Please visit, again, filmsbychris.com. You can, you can click on this link right here to get to it. Or, you know, check out the link in the description of the video. You can also there go to the support section on my website and you can support uh, donating through PayPal or Patreon. Again, these links should also be in the description of this video. And I do thank you for watching and I hope that you have a great day.